What is going on guys and thank you for joining me. We are back for episode 5 of this Football Manager 2016 beta save. Now you will see straight away that on the continental screen we are in the Europa Cup. That's right guys, we actually went out of the Champions League after episode 4. So let's check everything out shall we. Schedule screen. Um, group G. So as you see we finished on 5 points guys and... If I go down to the two games you missed. So as you see, we actually took a 2-1 lead away from home against Lazio. But Lazio came back. Miroslav Klose again. What a pest. Um, he got the goals, which knocked us out. So we came up against Chelsea. I rested loads of players. There was no reason whatsoever to even put any effort in. Um, we got the 0-0. So ended without a defeat. But check that out. Third place. It was terrible. But the most shocking thing was... Not long after that, the board revealed that they were delighted with my performance in all competitions and offered me a new contract. So, hey, win some, do some. Let's check the schedule since you were last with us, guys. So, um, where did you guys last join? So it was for the Barcelona game, wasn't it? So we have played a lot of matches. Um, was it the Barcelona game? I, th I think it was. Um, so as you see, we've obviously made our way through the cup, knocking out Getafe... Um, five one four three, and then knocking out Real Sociedad. That's why it looks like so many games since you were last with us. Um, I think the key game you'll see there is a defeat to Real Sociedad and to Villarreal. Um, some very disappointing defeats as well. Um, especially considering quite a few games we've looked fairly decent. I mean, in the last league game, we only drew two two, and um, it was actually really disappointing. Well, I'll show you the goals. Um. We took a 2-0 two, two lead, sorry, uh, it was 1-0, then 2-1. Now, you will see Wilson playing, so I will show you this in a minute. So, Cristiano Ronaldo took that away, that's 1-0. That was his 26th goal of the season. And um, we will check out his stats because he's doing really well, so I just want to show you his um, league stats for the season so far. But as you see, they, they came back, a beautiful strike on the edge of the box, we can't take that away from him. Um, but as you see here, we actually score on the counter for our second goal. So here we are, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's running, he's running. Great pace from him there. Tries to get across, but it comes back natural to Kovacic. Wilson, it gets intercepted, but goalkeeper's now coming forward. He plays the long ball. We win that. It comes back to Cruz. It's out to Rodriguez, into Wilson. Wilson's going to pick the pass, into Rodriguez. Oh my days, beautiful. That was beautiful, and that's his 13th goal of the season. James Rodriguez is scoring for fun. But as you see, a free kick set piece situation has cost us there, which is quite disappointing. So let's go into the transfers because as you saw, someone called Wilson was in the team. That's right, guys. I signed for 12 million Callum Wilson from Bournemouth. Um. Also done this this um, window is Danilo has gone out to Wolfsburg and Arbeloa to CSK Moscow. The reason for that was they wanted to leave, so got rid of them. Um, right, why did I sign Callum Wilson? Well, for starters, 17, 17 pace, 15 finishing, um, 14 passing, work rate 14, off the ball 14. He has some really good stats. Um, really, really good stats, and I wanted somebody not on stats but on performance. And as you can see, in the league for Bournemouth, he played twenty, scored eleven. He was the third top goal scorer in the BPL. So my thought was, he's scoring in the BPL, bring him up, give him a chance. Now in the two games he's played for us, he has got an assist. He hasn't scored yet, but he's not doing too bad. Um, his movement is quite good, so I'm excited to see how we can do. So let's just quick look here. Goals wise, Cristiano Ronaldo in 25 games, he's got 27 goals. He's not out for long. Um, I think it's yeah one to two days left, so he's going to miss today's game. Um, and then it's um, Hammers and Sergio. There's not enough goals from the rest of the team. Assist wise, it's Hammers. Then it's Disco, then Ronaldo, then Martin Odegaard. Um, so I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's on form in the league 17 in the league, 15 goals, 4 in the cup, 8 goals. So, delighted with that. Um, he's still 30, so... Um, I think, yeah, he turns 31 in five days, six days' time. The window's shut now, so what you see is what you get in terms of our team. 
tactics wise it's changed a little bit Gareth Bale's playing as a Van Dyke uh, that is normally Ronaldo with Gareth Bale in this advanced playmaker role and um, Tony Cruz in deep line and Roman playmaker is Luka Modric with Hamas on the right wing um, Marcelo has been out so Nacho's in there Ramos, Varane, Cavajal and I've been trying to get David De Gea trying to swap Kilo Navas like it was in real life but they're not having any of it um, let's check the competition screen. So, I'm expected to reach the semis in the Europa Cup. I actually want to win that now I've gone out of the Champions League. So, fingers crossed, guys. Um, we've got Sporting. So, hopefully we can win that. We've got Sevilla in the semi-final of the Cup. And as you see, we are topped by 9 points over Sevilla. And FC Barcelona have 3 games in hand. But they are 14 points behind us. So, we can still be a fair few points ahead of them. So let's get into today's game and hopefully we can get a victory for you guys. Uh, won 15, drew 3, lost 3, which is quite a nice record. A um, lot more to come from you. I believe in you. Start the match. We are underway. Van, he gets it out to Cruz. Rodriguez to Kovacic, who has not played many games, but I'm giving him a chance here just to see how we can do. Let me just, I'm not making this up, I just want to check. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's starting ahead of Martin Odegaard um, in this game. But Odegaard has been one of my main players coming off the bench, as well as starting, I think it was 12 games. So, he's definitely played a lot more than most 16 year olds would, I think. But um, I decided to give Kovacic this game, just to kind of give him a chance, because he's got some fantastic stats. He's definitely a player for people to check out. But um, he's just not broken into my squad. Which, um, it happens a bit, doesn't it? I mean, there's a lot of good players in the world of football who don't break into the club squads. Kovacic gets out to Carvajal. Carvajal, edge of the box. Kovacic is down. Nacho into Tony Cruz. Ski knocks it back. Ramos, beautiful spread to Hammers. Hammers to Kovacic. He's breaking. <sighs> Disappointing. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Great ball across there. Gareth Bale tries to get it, just couldn't get to it. Come on. Oh, what a save. He was offside, but what a save that was. So it's 0 no 0 after 25 minutes. What I will say, guys, is my transfer plans have not gone as I wanted. There's a lot of players who I've been trying to bring in. And um, players valued it. I've been looking at just bringing youth. So the likes of Reese Oxford from West Ham I tried to sign. He's valued at 800k. They wanted 70 million. Um, I tried to sign... Who was it? I'm trying to think who I tried to sign. I tried to sign a couple of players and they wanted like 50, 60 million for everybody. Um, they wanted 170 million for David De Gea. They wanted 80 for Cesc Fabregas. They wanted 90 for Cazorla, and they wanted 38 for Harry Wilson. Um, it's just insane money. So, currently I've sold three, signed two. Now, people might obviously say Callum Wilson's not of the quality to bring in for Real Madrid, but I wanted to give him a chance. Um, at the end of the day, it's a beta save. It's not going to run for 100 seasons. Um... So I just wanted to see exactly how he would do if he could actually step up. He was he was playing well for Bournemouth, so he definitely de deserved a chance. Um, I think it would be rude not to give him a chance after how, how well he was playing for Bournemouth. A big club had to snap him up, so why, why wasn't it Real Madrid? So as you saw there, Casemiro, Casemiro, I can't get my words out, and Martin Odegaard have come on. Wow, this is a, a drab game. If people are still awake, it's still nil no, nil. No. Disappointing so far. Oh, straight off his head. Where's it going? Oh, they put it wide. That could have gone anywhere. 
the last thing I wanted is for us to actually end up losing this game with a sloppy goal. So come on, Navas to Carvajal, into Odegaard, Hammers, Hammers cuts in, gets back to Casemiro, Odegaard, he gets it to Wilson, Wilson's down, Odegaard's picked it up, he spreads it to Nacho, into Gareth Bale, to Cruz, to Casemiro, Carvajal, Hammers, Hammers, back out, back in, <laughs> Cruz, oh come on, the passing skills and then it just fails at the end. Um, I'm going to bring on Barbosa up front for, for Wilson. Oh, Gareth Bale, come on. Ball in, that's another corner, another set piece. Gareth Bale's picked it up, he gets it back out. Tony Cruz, he's offside, come on guys, come on. That was dreadful. What did I pay you for? Come on, get to it. Nope. Seventy-eighth minute. Ramos to Navas. Nacho. Nacho to Odegaard. Odegaard to Nacho. Odegaard. Ball in. Barbosa. It's a foul. I don't see what happened. I think it was a handball. Is that Hammers going to be stepping up? It is. With Cristiano Ronaldo not on the pitch, Hammers is going to take the penalty. I think this will be his 15th of the season. Am I correct? Yes, I am. 15 goals for the season for Hammers. That's Real Madrid 1, Espanyol 0 in the 80th minute. Take that all day long. All three subs run, so... Nothing we can do here apart from... Go on defensive. Please don't concede. Well away. Casemiro. Uh, if they pass now well. Ball over the top. Oh, you are freaking on my life here. You are joking me. Real Madrid 1. Espanyol 1. Fair play. Look at this ball over the top. Beautiful. Who was this defender who just told him? Ramos. Ramos let him go. That was disappointing. Can we get back into it? Hammers to Casemiro. No, we can't. What the Jesus was that? Oh my days! Come on. No rush. <sighs> Last few games have been depressing. Depressing to say the least. So we've actually got the um, the cup semi final then coming up. Let me just check that out. Yeah, it's the first leg of the semi final. Then we've got the Europa. Then we've got Athletic. Got Atletico there. Um, right, we're going to come back tomorrow night for the Barcelona away. Because as I said, I want to get only seven episodes in so we can do a second season through beta. So I will come back for the Barcelona away match. Um, massive game at the Camp Nou, especially if I keep dropping points. Um, and hopefully we get further in the Europa Cup and the final episode hopefully will be the Europa Cup final, if not the end of the season. So join me for the Barcelona away tomorrow night, guys. Thanks.